Namaskar friends. Parents and teachers can contribute for children's health and immunity. See, the, two to three liters of water, two bubble movements, eating only thrice in a day. Nothing in between three meals except water. 30 minutes of exercise and exposure to sun will definitely help the children, students to be healthy. Maintain weight as per height. How it could be done? Four feet, six inches should be around 40 kg. Five feet children should be around 50 kg. Five feet, three inches students should be around 55 kg. If anybody is overweight, be concerned and check D and B vitamin levels. If they are low, take your advice from your doctor. Stop eating multiple times in a day. You can eat three times, whatever you want. In between, you should not eat at all. Stimulants like coffee tea, you must avoid. Avoid milk, especially chicken, because milk and chicken are the biggest problem because there are a lot of with, uh, uh, you know, pollutants and then, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, what is that called? Hormonal injections and all that. With the result, the young children become mature at the very early age, eight years, nine years, which is not good. Sugar, sweets, bakery, cool drinks, packaged foods, refined oils, and salt, they further add up to the insulin resistance. Once children get insulin resistance, they become obese, and they are also at times become pre-diabetic. Once in a while, if they whatever they want to eat, like sweets, bakery, fast food, chocolates, ice cream, etc., they can eat. There's no problem. They should eat along with their meal, not separately. Only three times they should open their mouth to eat food. Other times they can only drink water, nothing else. So immediately after waking up in the morning, the parents must spend time with the children, make them drink 500 to 750 ml water so that, that there will be load on their stomach. That time they let them not engage in watching TV or mobile and all that. So once they walk inside the house after this drinking water, they'll be able to go to the stools. If a child or student is going to the school without finishing first bowel movement, they will have a very long health problems in the long run. Because in the school, they may not be having facility. They will Children will hold the toilet. They will not go to the toilet. So parents, it's responsibility to make sure that they finish their first bowel movement after drinking 500 to 750 ml water. Afterwards, they can have a little bit of exercise and then they can take their breakfast. And then the important thing is, while don't drink water 20 minutes before eating. Keep this in mind. While eating, until two hours after eating. Then uh, once they go to the school, until lunchtime, they can drink 500 to 750 ml water in installments. This is where the teacher's responsibility is there. Teacher's participation should be there. Teachers also should drink to encourage them, and they also uh, compel them and force them and uh, guide them to drink water and see that they finish those bottles. And then the teacher should also guide them to go to the urinal so that, you know, children will not have hesitation. And there must be an absolutely free, teacher should leave them free whenever some child is asking to go to the urinal or toilet. They should encourage, they must ask in between the class, anybody wants to go. See, to class, studies are important, but more than that, health is very important. after the lunch, two hours after lunch, again, try to drink half two, three, three fourth liter in installments again. See, after two hours, suppose children have the uh, lunch at 12 o'clock. From two o'clock onwards, again, the teacher who is teaching from two o'clock onwards must remind the children. And also, they by themselves drinking the water and making everybody to drink water. And if somebody is feeling to go to the urinal, she must guide them. So this way, children will be properly hydrated, properly relieving all the toxins from the body. Especially girl children are hesitant to go to the school, I mean, to the toilets, so that, you know, they develop a urinary tract problem and all that. So it's, it is important the teacher should take the lead. After reaching home, drink again 5 to 7 and 5, 500 to 750 ml water. So focus on your stomach to go to the toilet. So two toilets is very important. And then afterwards, after 20 minutes of drinking water, they can have their dinner. Whatever they want to eat, they can eat. Nothing in between three meals except water. Very important, friends. Hepajad eating of chocolates or even small items. Other than water, anything else children takes is food, which requires digestion. That's how people become insulin resistant and overweight. Eight hours night sleep is a must. Make sure that the children sleep at nine o'clock to morning six o'clock. And then whenever some child is unwell, give them, uh, you know, coconut water or uh, lemon honey water or fruit juice so that no food is given. So they can recover very fast. 
and there is a case study of a 12 year old girl look at uh, she's 63 kg 5 feet 63 kg she is 13 kg overweight her waist size is 5 kg over look at her insulin is high and then her insulin resistance 1.87 d vitamin is low 10.77 B12 also is low, 164. And again, triglycerides to HDL ratio is also not good. Triglycerides should be below 100. HDL should be above 50, 60 is ideal. So friends, what is immunity? See, children sitting inside the home when there's rain outside, children are getting sick. So when a, when a child gets drenched in the rain, even for 30 minutes, if the child is not becoming sick at the same evening by way of cold cough, running nose, etc., consider the child has got a good immunity. He's my grandson, one and a half year old. Look at the way he enjoys the rain and he doesn't fall sick. Friends, these are the few people who have benefited by following wellness secrets. And my name is Gangeshwar Rao. I'm not a doctor. And these are the 10 parameters for anybody to do. You just saw the 12-year-old girl. We have done all the tests, fasting insulin, fasting blood glucose, HbA1c. Her HbA1c is 5.6 or 5.5. She's very close to pre-diabetic which is not good. Similarly, triglycerides were high and HDL was low, D vitamin was low, B12 vitamin. Low. So I keep on telling you, friends, the six blood tests are absolutely essential. Track your health score based on these 10 parameters. At one time, my health score was 10% in January 2014. In April, after four months of following Dr. Mantina's natural lifestyle, I've improved my health and I'm sure you will benefit it. Knowledge and discipline are the gateways to health. Parents and teachers must improve their own health first and then guide them as an example. People don't do sermons. They will only, uh, you know, imitate. Recently, my grandson's friend came to my house in overnight he stayed. My grandsons, both the grandsons, drink uh, 700 to 800, 800 ml of water. One boy is three years, another boy is uh, seven years. After seeing that uh, the other child, who's also seven years old, he drank about uh, 600 ml water. Next day, he went to his parents. He told them that, look, I want to drink 600 ml water. And he drank and he was able to pass the stools without any problem. And his parents spoke to me and they were very happy that they learned a new thing. So it's necessary. Parents must improve first so that they can guide. Thank you very much for listening, friends. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.